For animation, I pretty much just copied what they had in Super Smash Bros. for Samus's neutral B. Not a good demo roll piece, but something is a fun exercise. The trick is constraining the hand to the gun, but do it in a creative way so that when you move the locator, it rotates the hand around the barrel of the gun. So it becomes a very useful constraint, and you don't have to fight with it when you're posing. And this rig is from Joe's Rig Delivery Service on Patreon. Go check them out. I've linked it here as well. Great rig. Next up is the Charge Blast, all made using 3D geometry inside of Maya. It's really just these three components that you group and you spin. So we start off with these pointy things. There's what's called an ultra shape, and it has all these interesting inputs that you can literally just move them and make it into this pointy object. No modeling required. Reduce the mesh because you don't need all that geometry. Apply a texture. I use white to make it look like a 2D effect. Then I have this other sphere, which I just wiggle the scale of. And then for the orb, it's really simple. I'll show you how to make it. It is a sphere. You put a surface shader so that light doesn't affect it. For color, use a ramp. I made it circular. And then just start adjusting the colors to whatever you want, really. The trick here is adjusting the noise settings and then animating them so it looks like this kind of glowing orb effect. And then you can spin it, do whatever you want with it. And that's pretty much the bulk of the work here. Last thing is the little ping that comes off of Samus' gun. That's literally just a torus animated to make that shape. Easy. For the smoke, I wasn't actually sure I'd be able to do it in Maya, but it actually ended up being pretty straightforward with a lot of tweaking. So I start off with another ultra shape. It's a sphere that I just literally started messing with random controls to get it to be kind of a pointy looking flowery thing. Uh, so I took that and then I applied a lattice to it and just used this to shape it into what seemed kind of like smoke. Then I moved that down by Samus and used a deformer, I think a wave deformer, to push it out. Duplicated that, had it toggle visibility on and off and made it transparent. Shockwave is the same thing. You just copy the smoke effect and then maybe deform it a little bit more. But the trick is to do the surface shader once again and then make another ramp for the color and make it the other color of the orb. So after tweaking that, adjust the noise to get whatever you like. And if you want it to be transparent or opaque, you can adjust that with the transparency slider of the material. For a finishing touch, I wanted to add fake lighting. So I made a cylinder plane, had it scale to match, parented to the object, and it just follows to show as if it were lighting the floor. Finally, sound design. This part doesn't need narration, so enjoy and uh, thanks for watching.